Thank you. Sorry, my screen is black right now. Can you see or hear me? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. Thanks so much. That's uh, once again, John Stu Tanrukulu on voice. Um, yeah, thanks so much again for doing this and having us and yeah, keeping it going. Yeah, it's, it's also nice to hear John Stu. I haven't heard her before. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it's being, it, it's, here's, here's a plug, it's, it's being live streamed, but uh, Jazz Fest Berlin is happening November 7th, and she'll be doing more there. Yeah. Wow. Is, this, is, is, is it happening for real or just or streamed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's happening in, like, in person and then also live streamed, like, in New, in New York at Berlin. Just, yeah, it's, mm. yeah, it's happening. Wow. Oh, shit. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Are you going to play in as well? Yeah, on the last day. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, we, we miss you over here. Not that there's, there are gigs over here, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah I miss it too. Uh, Bob, Bob Ross wanted to know what time it was in Berlin. It's like 1 a.m. there, right? It's 1.20 a.m. right now. Or oh, that's Siri. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's really funny because, like, we, so we have a group chat that Nick is in with a couple of other friends, and I just, like, get random texts from Nick at, like, 4 a.m., <laughs> it's that funny. Um, no, it's it's right, nice to see you, Nick, and, I, and I'm glad you're doing well. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where are you living, Nick? Which part of Berlin? Sorry, I'm I'm nerding out because I'm. I'm a hugger. <laughs> I um, used to live in Berlin. Yeah. Yeah. We we live in Moabit, but we're moving to Mitte in like a week. Oh, okay. I've stayed in yeah. Moabit a few times too. You're moving to Mitte? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. is the reaction? Yeah, I know, right? She's Mitte like, is like very like, fancy. Oh, why would you do that? That's where all oh, the models man. live. <laughs> oh, hey, he's doing the right thing. <laughs> like Rebecca or um... doing the Jeffersons, man. We're no. moving on up, girl. <laughs> 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 we try to change things here. <laughs> hey, you oh. see Kurt out there? What's that? You see Kurt? Uh, no, no. Um, we're moving into the same building as Jim Black, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, wow. yeah. And Simon German also. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, he just moved there too, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Wow. You know, there are a lot wow. of people in Europe now. Yeah, cool. yeah. yeah, a lot of people leaving this a lot of people leaving the States. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> gonna be a lot more come December if things don't go right. Well, I just think <laughs> it's gonna be a lot more in general. I mean, just because there's no movement there. At least we still have I mean, <clears throat> as of like we just canceled some stuff we had with Kurt, but just because we don't, well, yeah, we don't speak on that. 
but the <laughs> movement issue is a is a is a pro is a problem for the venues now. I think they're gonna shut things down. But we were still able to move up until probably I would say this week. Really, things are gonna start shutting down. We looking at the way uh, they're talking about it in the news here in Italy. And so uh, theaters, restaurants closed by 6 p.m. Um, so that I'm in the boat with y'all, but it still feels still feels cool. It's all right. We're going to be all right, man. Yeah, I mean, we were able to send the the All-Stars uh, to uh, Switzerland just like a week ago. <laughs> we had to cancel the last yeah, good, man. Y'all made it. And and what what else? I, I know Yoke and Rooker did a tour like in in, right. in yeah. yeah. So it's, it's like Spain, no? Like what? what? Oh, Becca Stevens, she was in Spain last. Yeah, week. she was oh. in Spain. Hey, Rio, Dan Pepper went to France. How do you create that effect on your thing, Rio? I, I'm like tripping, man. Like, <laughs> like, like you look like you're a zoom. Like everybody see that? Or was it just me? No, no, she has a... no, she's she's at the old gallery right now. Oh, dig! I got you. Yeah, okay, I was like, why does it look like the old? Ga-? I kept like, wow, those steps are familiar. <laughs> she has I am not there. You know that, right? This is just a picture. <laughs> oh, I know that. Yes. Because okay. now some people has asked me, like, why are you sitting at the jazz gallery at the bottom of the staircase? <laughs> like, no, I'm not there. Oh. Acid bomb, please. No, anyway. But anyways, um, why don't we move on to our next guest? And we're staying in Europe. Uh, today's today's kind of like a Europe day, a Europe oh, lockdown goodness. session. The European um, stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Greg, you, you're you're in Italy, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So so Greg Hutchinson, if you don't know, which I don't know why you wouldn't know, um, is well, one of the most. Know, indiv- be here. <laughs> yeah. Sh- shame. Shame. Oh. <laughs> no, if if you don't know Greg yet, uh, but but if you do know, then you know he's one of the most in-demand drummers out there in the world as well. And um, Greg, I got to say, one of my favorite records is Peter Bernstein's "Signs of Life," which uh, oh, I like that one. You play Peter. drums on there, yeah, and and the drums make a big part of that record. So yeah. uh, you know, give it up to you. Finally, some people finally they see they finally get it, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Totally. Make an integral part. Now I'm just playing Peter Peter Bernstein. Woof. Brad, oof, yeah, everybody, yeah, Christian, we miss those right? guys, Christian, Christian yeah. Yep. yeah, we miss those yeah, guys. That's that's a <laughs> sick hookup. Um, anyways, no, I, I I don't need to say anything more. Give it up for Greg Hutchinson. What's up, everybody? So my thing was a little different because like this is my first time doing it. So let me oh. see what this going here. Share screen, right? Uh, share this now. Yep, we got that right. And now I just need to go to, oh, let me get to what I need to put up. Can you guys see this? You haven't clicked on the share button on the right bottom. Oh, sorry, you guys. See, look, look, I knew that. (laughs) Now can you see it? Yeah, yeah. I see it. What's up, everybody? I'll make it bigger than my home online session. So... I figured I was going to do something a little different than y'all probably used to seeing. Been on lockdown for a while. I hope y'all doing good back there. You see I got in shape. Been listening to a lot of classical music. Decided to do something different. Got myself a pool table. There's more to life than just music. You have to get your mind right during this period. I know it's been crazy for a lot of people, so I'm definitely sending y'all a lot of love because uh, I know it's been very stressful. But we are resilient musicians, and we will get through this. Look, the OG is telling you that we will get through this. So with that said, you just gotta really focus on trying to be better. Um, learn something new. Do something different. Think about the way you wanna approach life going forward. Cause it is gonna be different for us going forward, you know. Very different. Been working on a lot of music. 
music. Uh, okay, that's a little loud. We turned them down, cool. Been working on a lot of music. Um, still trying to get this damn record out. Thank you, Warner Brothers, for being so patient with me. Uh, but I'm really happy about what's happening. Um, and just, it's, you know, it's a different vibe for us over here because we did things right. Even though we get ready to go back through it again, we did things right the first time. So our movements, you know, were able to happen a different way. We were able to get in some gigs and stuff like that. I know you cats are suffering for the gigs, really. But uh, right now, things are shutting down again. So it's just about maintaining the mental. You maintain that mental, everything is cool, right? That That's that's the whole, that's what it's all about. Maintaining the mental, you know. Have a smoke every now and then. Play some pool, you know. Get a gray one. But I want you guys to feel at home. So let me introduce you to the crib real quick. Let's take a little tour here and uh, let's see where we get to. This is me. This is my place, of course. You know that. Uh, but we're going to walk around a little bit here. Let's give her a tour. Spent a lot of time in the kitchen. That's the music room slash punching bag. Bathroom, bedroom, okay, you don't need to see all that. But I want you guys to feel at home. I spent a lot of time in here. And this is where we've been making some stuff happen. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about my love of other music and the ability to do that. So, you know, I've always been a fan of all music. You guys know we've been playing a lot of jazz, but I've been a fan of all music. And so I decided during this period, the best thing for me to do would be to come in and uh, really get home my skills on on what was happening now. Uh, so I got some equipment and started working on Ableton, of course. I was already on Logic, started working on Ableton and just, you know, it's like learning songs, it's like learning standards, how we do, right? You just, you just have to keep doing something to get it in your mind, in your mind. We got heat though. They say, how this jazz drum? Why y'all keep calling me a jazz drum? Stop it. I do everything. Come on now. Anyway, that's just some of what I've been up to. Um, the rest is playing. I'm uh, doing a lot of teaching, you know that, of course. Uh, of course, you know, I got that master class coming up on October the 30th at 6 p.m. European time. So if you really want to see what's happening, get at me, gregcutchinson at me.com. Of course, I had to do a plug for that. And, you know, we talk about the donations to the to the funds, but in reality, I just want to talk to y'all about like, is this is such a weird time. I've never faced anything like this time, like not working, like I, I work all the time and I've just been so used to it. And in actuality, this is kind of not so bad because all the years I've worked straight, this is kind of like not even close to the amount of time that I would need off. Why is the camera keep shaking? Cause I keep hitting the table. So it's like, I look at it like, you know, this is time to get, get things together. This is time to really, you know, be by yourself. That's what I think, you know, this, this, is, this is a good time. Don't look at it as a bad time. This is a really good thing for us. Get your skills together, y'all, because I'm coming back strong. I'm coming back strong. Mm. And you know, it's funny the other day I was sitting there thinking about Roy. Rest in peace, Roy. Rest in peace to all of our greats that we lost, for real. Rest in peace to everyone who has, who has fallen. 
Uh, but I was thinking about Roy and all the good times we used to have. We'll talk about that some more when, when we get up tomorrow, but well, today actually, because I'm talking to you as if I'm talking to you now. So that's how it should be. Anyway, you know, I like to do un unusual things. I don't like to do the same norm and shit, but I have been during this period, it was so crazy because it's like just being inspired is crazy. You know, most people feeling down. I feel inspired. I feel like like this is a, pre a time to like to show like what you're made of, like what you got. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have seen some of y'all out there tripping out, though. Some of those videos are a little tricky. And I'm not saying who. Ooh, tricky. Tricky. Wow. Some of y'all really lost your minds. But that's okay. We won't go there. Ooh-wee. Got to hold it back in. Ooh, some stuff you just don't need to do. Um, anyway. But. Like I said, hey, people try new things. Some things they should just never try, but they're trying new things. So I just want to wish everybody really good spirits, happy times, uh, all that good stuff. You know, everything that Hutch is about. And I'm going to tell y'all that we will be back. We will be back stronger than ever. So uh, I'm glad I'm on here with y'all tonight. We're going to have some fun, uh, answer some questions, you know, whatever. Whatever. Is, it's a variety show. It's a whatever show. It's, hey. Hey. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I never, I, I'm dying. <laughs> that was like a TED talk. That was great. <laughs> yeah. Talk to yourself all day long. <laughs> I can't hear you. You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. Yep. No. Can you hear me now? There you go. Yeah. yeah. No, I was saying during this period, it, no, that was great, man. Like I saw a lot of people stressing and tripping, and I was in this house having. I, this is before I had the pool table, man. You saw I was in doing the workout videos. I was pretending like every day was a new day of something different to learn. So that's what we need to do. Don't, you know, yeah, there's no work. We know that. So what we already know, we don't need to dwell on. We know what's going on with that. So we know we might not be back for a while. So what can we do? What can we do differently? Like, so I know there's a lot of music to be learned. I know there's a lot of self thought to be uh, evaluated from everyone. So if we all do that, we'll come, we come back better. It'll be better. We it, listen, you can't keep, anyone you can't keep this music down it's been down and it always comes back i've seen it i've not like this but i've seen the downtime so we we're gonna be back just for the play <laughs> not joking <laughs> i'm with you though <laughs> wait when was the last downtime i mean like 80s <sighs> Yeah, well, in terms of the music, I mean, you know, this, you got to think when the music made a resurgence again, before that, it was downtime, like before that. So I, for me, that was, I was young, I wasn't on the scene, but just, I would say prior to like everything happening in the early 90s, you know, how it happened prior to that, you know, the, the jazz music was definitely not the, where it's become now, you know. It went through a down period, so we're we're just, we're, we're just in a not working period. Period. Yeah. <laughs> so that's different. <laughs> There's nothing like this. I think. No, I mean, this no, is, this is no. So we are. I tell everybody we've all gone back to like. So I, you know, you work all these years to get your money up. Everybody now has come back to exactly the same level, mm -hmm. zero. <laughs> it is great. <laughs> but it's amazing. Like at the beginning, if somebody had told me seven months ago that I you know we would still be here and uh without playing any shows for se for seven months or without hanging without playing with people without you know it, it would have been so un unimaginable for me and yet we're here you know we I, I feel better now than i did at the beginning in the beginning it was just a total freaking out panic but yeah. now i feel like yeah similar to you i feel like i'm i'm using this time to learn something different Learn, yeah. No, I was born in the beginning and I'm starting to fall apart slowly at the same yeah. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Yeah. I think that you're yeah. feeling, in this, I wonder if the feeling in the States and the feeling that we have over here is a little different. 
<laughs> hey, he, he, here it's so insane. I mean, just the fact that you can't play. Yeah. We, no, no, none of us has played a gig, really. I mean, apart from the one in the jazz gallery. Um, we have to take it as a gigantic sabbatical, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like uh, an it's artist residence. Um, and this does it. They go to but also like finding finding new things to do is always like a very efficient way to work on your time i mean like you have like learning ableton or logic or whatever you know um, yeah that is something that is going to translate i think to your life after covid oh yeah man. because um, you know it, it's very different making a record and telling somebody hey can you mix this for me or like being yeah. able to go into the studio and it's like hey can you do this this and this you know yeah even if you're not an expert at it at least you know what's That's going right. on you know That's times very, change very, man yeah. very very useful to, uh use of your time it, it gives you freedom and that, yeah. that is um, a good thing yeah i think that the days of just playing your instrument like those we have to become very creative and inventive now so mm -hmm. a lot of home a lot of home records gonna be made now <laughs> a lot of home yeah. video you know everything is yeah yeah we've we've it's, it's kind of nice actually though we're taking back control and so at me, uh, Logan's here, and we were talking about this. This is, this is a time for a renaissance right here, right now. Like, this is a restart yeah. of everything, exactly. and we can really make it happen better, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm curious, is there anything that you guys, uh, Doug, Nick, and, and Ingrid, are working on that, like, you wouldn't have done in your normal time? I am doing what I for a long time wanted to do, and I'm just slowly getting getting some some ba even just basic recording skills together because i have mm. always left it up to two professionals you know yeah. not wanting to deal with that side of things mm -hmm. and since there has been just so much um touring and and being away all the time um i just there was just and i, I because i compose a lot of music that was just never something i really you know got my head around to doing and i don't love dealing with technical with technical things so i've always happily just um g given that part away but because um i mean my husband and i you know my husband is um tom rainey a um who's a drummer mm -hmm. and we we uh from the beginning of the lockdown we, we got back to um the states really on the last delta flight from switzerland Wow. Um, and we were in such a we were really like what are we going to do what is going on so we decided to just document this whole period and we we put up a an episode of something we work on every every week on Bandcamp. we leave we mm -hmm. um just to kind of stay in touch with with our fans and with people and and also because we had we felt like we needed the, we needed something that is a routine and something that we're familiar with and we needed something to work on so we we work on other people's compositions you know our friends compositions it's a little bit like the music that the, the musicians are with us in our home and we think of that you know we check in with them see um we adapt the pieces so we c they can be played as duos etc um yeah. so that that but that meant i only had a handheld zoom recorder and i was just like it it meant this was finally the time for me to upgrade you know <laughs> get some microphones get some get a mm -hmm. um over the computer etc so yeah that's what i'm dealing with at the moment actually yeah we broke but we spent a lot of money huh everybody yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i would say so you know it it was worth it <laughs> i would say something on here but that could that could be incriminating later if anything ever came so yeah but just uh thank you for the assistance from uh all of those nice assistant programs out there that help people I think that's helpful for all the musicians and for, you know, it's, you know, yeah, great. Yeah. Doug, you told me that you're really making the best of what's happening. You said that, um... Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you know, I guess I have a little bit of the survivor's guilt in a sense, because, you know, this, as hard as this time period has been, I'm very, I'm very lucky to be, you know, locked down with my wife and my kid and, you know, couple of dogs, couple of cats, you know, Ooh. and um, so it's it's really nice. My wife is a, uh, uh, I spend most of my time on the road with her. She's a great soul singer. And um, so we started like pretty much the couple, like the first week of the pandemic, we started just making videos like of uh, 
quarantine themed songs and we did a hundred in a row wow. we just put them up online so just you know play a song we did everything from like you know standards to pop song i mean everything yeah. and um yeah i mean the you know i've been kind of getting more and more into the technological aspect of you know we just went up to woodstock for a month and made a record that um uh, uh you know was like i did all the engineering and mixing and everything so i'm i'm learning those skills they've been very very useful for me um to have you know different revenue streams and we've also been doing if y'all aren't hip to this website called uh stageit.com mm -hmm. we've been doing we've done about 35 36 online concerts during the pandemic and you know i mean it's it's definitely dependent upon your fan base and you know my, my wife's got like you know a ton of followers on social media so that's been but it's great because people can pay 50 cents and you know we've been able to um with all of our touring getting canceled we've just transitioned into that online thing and honestly we've been paying our rent with yeah. these online concerts you know from yeah. right here in this room and wow there's a couple of people that'll get on there and then they, it's like live tipping they'll just tip you you know like while you if you play play something they like or sing something you like these you know we got a couple of people come in spend three four hundred dollars a week wow so it's been it's been a real uh a real uh, lifesaver and um i, I and the, the the platform is great it's very easy to use so yeah we've been making the best of it you know? yeah wow yeah, I, I, Nick. Nick also did this, but I, I'm taking this class. It's like an electronics class, like a DIY synth thing. Um, yeah. yeah. You took the previous session, right, Nick? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's been. Um, yeah, definitely one of the big, big, bigger things in my life development that's come out of this is just like at, at a at a pretty rapid curve, like just like getting just like into like electronic instrument building um my my breadboard here <laughs> oh yeah oh they're so they're so annoying to work through with it not the worst yeah um <laughs> but yeah that, yeah that, that's been a big thing it's 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 um it's moving slowly because it's it's I, i'm not like I'm, I'm still a musician before i'm like a, an inventor or a builder mm -hmm. or whatever so I'm, I'm still I'm doing it like alongside with like other musical things that I would be doing anyway. So, oh. but it is, I mean, not music and stuff. So, yeah. yeah, that's a big thing. Awesome. Well, yeah. I want to uh, just move on, and before we move on, because I, I wanted to get to that because there's uh, we're just doing a little preview on Facebook right now or on YouTube. I mean. But um, before we move on, I just want to uh, let you guys know if you want to follow Nick um, on Instagram, he's at nick.dunston. Um, Greg Hutchinson is at hutchmaniac on Instagram as well. Um, Ingrid, do you have an Instagram? I don't. I have, a, have an have artist an page on Facebook. But you can find her on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. And Doug is at Doug Womble. So if you guys want to follow them uh, and also check out our website, jazzgallery.org, if you want to um, see what else we're going to be doing. So I'm going to cut.